What's up guys, welcome back. We have another wedding today in Charlotte with a bunch of enhancements. We're doing monogram, we're doing movers, we're doing up lighting. It's dope, but um, your boy's kinda on remission right now. Kinda injured myself last week. You guys may have seen at the end of the last gig log. I was actually in the ER the previous, the next day afterwards. But uh, all good. Might have a slight hernia, but uh, I gotta wait till I can get and see a specialist, which is uh, really hard to do nowadays. So, until then, I'm not really gonna be lifting anything, which is why I got two assistants today. We got Kevin and we got Gabe here today. Actually, the first thing on the list is to unload what's in the trailer currently, which is a table and chair set for the house. So, you know the life of being a homeowner. Got all this new tables and chairs and stuff. So, we're gonna be unloading this and then loading all the gear that's in the garage for today's event. Enjoy the loading. All right, that is uh, all the gear loaded in the trailer. Got quite a bit, bunch of road cases. God, I love road cases, they're so beautiful. Rock and roll over some gear. Totem, speakers, shut up. We're gonna get going on the road, on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. You hey guys on the road. We're here, downtown Charlotte. It's the fun part of figuring out where the hell we go. Third floor, interestingly enough, they're not having us use any freight elevators. They're just floating through the front. We'll do what they say. Currently, there's a meeting going in on half of what is gonna be the hall. They told us where we can set up because uh, where we're setting up is already open. That makes sense. But uh, we got a heck of a trek to roll some cases up and down this hall. We got a lot of gear too. So we're gonna make some trips up and down the stair, up and down the elevator and stair. There's a little pro tip for you guys. That's why we show up with three hours in advance to set up. Even though we do have totems movers and all that fun stuff today. We didn't really film it, but two elevator loads and we're in. This wall is gonna open up. We're gonna have the whole entire other space over there. Dance is gonna be over in the center. We're set up based on the diagram in the corner here. So uh, we're working on framing that out the way that we want. So we got totem over here, totem over here. We're gonna put speakers and, and stacks on either side outside that. Kind of what we're looking at. The boys over here. Working hard. I'm uh, resting my gut up a little bit. Said it's gonna be dope. I'm really excited. We're at the park uh, about two blocks over. There's a nice little uh, parking garage. So other than our initial setup, we just went through. I haven't really been giving you guys much info on what's going on, but or tips or anything like that. So here's a little tip for you guys. Look in advance to where the hell your event is. Like if it's in a downtown city, you're probably gonna have to pay for parking. So take that into consideration when you actually are one, planning ahead to show up, and two, how much you're charging. Because a wedding in downtown, any city, this is Charlotte, this is a big city, is a bitch. From a loading standpoint, it's a bitch. From a parking standpoint, it's a bitch. From a logistics standpoint, it's a bitch. Everything's a bitch. Take that into consideration. Charge accordingly. Always bring your water. Yeah, always Stay bring, yeah, they, Stay hydrated. I made a video on that. You guys should go watch that. I do gotta say, we made a little road trip out of this. We went down to South Carolina, got some fireworks. We went to the mall. It is awesome to be out and seeing people out at like malls and stuff. And like there's bands over here getting ready to perform outdoors. Life's back to normal, it feels like. It's wonderful. So a lot of you guys always ask me in the comments, where'd you get this booth? Where'd you get this booth? I, I built it. This is a one-off, one-time unit right here. This booth is all custom. I made this thing in the winter of 2019. Been rocking ever since. Um, this top actually is just kind of latched in and you got all the cabling and everything underneath of it all hidden away. All the cabling down here, got a power protector in here. There's a uh, USB hub on this side, connect our Rain 12s and our S9 together. Originally I had the power strip was right here and it was really inconvenient to turn this on and off. So my boy Marcellus was like, yo, just put it right here, right underneath the cup holder. You can turn it on, turn it off. It's nice easy. And then this is a gas pipe with a connection. There's another one on, on inside the case and it just screws in. This is the same piece of wood as the bottom. This actually has really good ventilation and keeps the laptop nice and cool. Well, first off, this is a really, really nice laptop that keeps itself cool. HP Spectra, 15 inch Windows Gang. Windows Gang, where you at? And we got the custom rack table back here. Also custom made by me, well, the table sides and build out. But here's dope. And honestly, we set all this up in less than an hour. Like it's 3 30 right now and we like started setting up at like 2 30 and really me and Gabe left and got the truck and like it takes 20 minutes to set all this up and we're good to go. Gotta tune everything in, get it all set and dialed in. They're about to open up the wall so we can see the dance floor and it's gonna be a dope wedding. It's coming down, it's coming down. We all set up and ready to go for the wedding this evening. So all suited up, guys are all suited up. Uh, we are doing a digital monogram um, animated, really dope. Uh, did the twinkly star backdrop. This is like one of my favorites besides fireworks to do on the backdrop. And then we have 24 up lights all the way around the room. Uh, we're using both my old S4s and the S4 minis just to kind of see what they can do because we uh, we haven't used them yet. There's one thing we've noticed with the S4 minis, they don't do instant. They fade in and out when it comes to DMXing. It's kind of weird. If you guys know a setting, let me know. I'm gonna reach out to my rep at both lighting and see if she can tell me why they do that. I'll show you guys that in a second, but let me show you guys the setup. Let me show you guys the setup and then we'll show you guys the S4s versus S4 minis 
because it's dope. Over here, uh, the mover's kind of drowning it out right now, but that is our digital monogram. We're shooting this thing super far away. You can kind of see the twinkly stars. You might see some shooting stars here in a second. Kyle and Danielle today. Let's see if we see it. There it goes. There's a twinkly star. There you go. Up lights, we're doing a nice white all the way around the room with the S4s and S4 minis. The blinding spots over here, we got our totems. We're rocking two of our Global Trust totems. Atop them, we have the ADJ Inno Spot Pros. Got some more up lights around the room. Uh, we do have a hazer tonight. We'll see how that works out. Sound system, JBL PRX 750. TX left, JBL PRX 712 tops, ADJ facade. We have our turntable booth. We already went over that with the Rain 12s, the S9. Back behind where all the guys are just uh, chilling, chillaxing. Is this the chill spot? We have the Yama MG12, Thurman. Shavik Show Express, the rack table. Shavik Show Express running our IU Technica 3000 fourth gen. Got our GoPro ready to film. Got our toast mic over here. All right, guys. So these are the S4s versus the S4 minis. Minis are over there. S4s are right here. If you guys could see, the S4 mini has like this little fade in between. It might be a setting. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to look at it. But uh, this gives you guys a little bit of a real world comparison of how bright the S4 mini is versus the S4. In my eyes, it's it's pretty damn close like like it's a little bit brighter maybe on the s4 but it's honestly not noticeable i would use the s4 minis just as much as i would use the s4 and when you look at it from a cost perspective like the s4 minis cost about a third less and they're half the weight probably the biggest selling point right there they're half the weight oh my god i didn't even see the cake check this out holy whoa wowza that's a dope cake that's a dope kick. These guys are trying to figure out if there's a setting that does this, but I haven't been able to figure it out. So yeah, we couldn't figure it out. Anyway, they already got the Caesars. Caesar wedge salads. We got jazz music playing out. I love jazz music, so they chose to do cocktail as jazz music. <laughs> love it. Got the uh, LD Systems Maui 5 go out here doing that off an iPad. Kevin and Gabe just pointed out that you guys might actually not know. Oh, they're just opening up the cocktail right now. I need to play music. Back to what I was saying. Uh, they point out that you guys might actually be uh, curious how we do the monograms if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen my video on how we do uh, digital and animated monograms like that one right there. So first off, let me explain how it works. Now, secondly, I'll show you guys, uh, well, I'll tell you guys where we get our monograms made. So that right there is being shot from that projector up there. That right there is an Epson projector. I'm not entirely sure the model name. If you go check out the video, it'll go through, but it's a power light. It's like a thousand dollars. It's a sick monogram or it's a sick projector. On top of it, we have a media player that has got a uh, flash drive plugged into it with that video file. And then that goes into the HDMI on the back of the projector, works great. We have a gravity stand here, so it's nice and clean, nice and low to the ground, works very well. Now, that monogram right there, we get those made from my good friends at Projectorgram. So I will link Projectorgram in the description down below. Uh, they are good friends of the channel. They've been the sponsor of me for a little while. Um, I love them because they have a secondary website that doesn't show prices that you can send your clients. I think it's called MyDigitalGobo.com. And basically you can send that to your clients and be like, pick out your monogram. And then basically they pick out their monogram and then you go on Projectorgram.com, pick out their monogram, pay for it. It's nice and clean. Basically you can say, this is my designer's website and they can go in and pick out their own custom combination. And they do combinations too. This is actually right here. It's one of the atmospheric backdrops that is animated with a digital monogram. It's pretty dope. A little plug there on Projectorgram. They do dope monograms, super fast turnarounds too. Uh, like two days and you have your monogram and they do renderings, and they do edits and all that. Like if your couple doesn't like it, it's awesome. Works out great. So check out the video though. I'll link the video on how we do monograms down below as well as link to Projectorgram where you can check them out. You guys can see behind me, we just opened up the, the hall for the reception, which means we're getting close to introductions. So, see you guys on the tripod on the GoPro for introductions next. Dinner was phenomenal. We didn't film. I don't even know what we filmed, honestly. I know we forgot to click record on the GoPro. Whatever. It's a uh, very, very fancy crowd we got here. Just saying. Anyways, though, it's um, gotta get him to cut the cake next. That, that's next. We gotta do that. We'll see how open dancing works out. I'm thinking a lot of slow songs. Definitely a lot of older music. Definitely. <laughs>
And just like that, we done. We done. That's pretty right there. We, we, uh, we got everything loaded onto the carts. And we didn't show you guys how we load in, so we're gonna show you how we load out. Basically, we got two trips down the elevator, and we gotta travel two blocks over to get the truck, which you guys did see. So, we travel down that long hallway, down that hallway, through those doors is the elevator. Of course, the doors are shut, but looks like we can get out this way. So this is gonna be load one. We actually have to take the totems off because these are too long to fit in the elevator. We should test that first though. We walk in. You guys want out already? We walk in. Downtown, baby. Sucks knowing we're an hour and a half away from home, but dope being downtown. You gotta love the sights. Load one, load one. Last load right here stuff. We got uh, the up lights, the two other cases. I'll push the two cases together. Kevin, you wanna get the rock and roller again? Gabe, put, you wanna put your bags on top of that? And we're gonna, we're gonna go. That's how it's done, that's how it's done. Yo guys, uh, we got an hour and a half trip and we gotta figure out how the hell to get out of here. So, hope you guys enjoyed the gig log. Like the video, subscribe, comment down below. Keep the market spinning guys. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.